Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Now, Moses Korea and Alice Nana are the masterminds of the poisonous 5 million tons of contaminated sugar in circulation on our supermarket shelves and stores. This story came the other day when there was an investigation from DCI and they found that this contaminated sugar was all the way from Mombasa after being imported to this country, transported all the way from Mombasa to Thika. This made William Ruto to fire several individuals connected or rather who never came out delivering their duty as it was expected. As this issue and scandal of contaminated sugar is trending across the social media as Moses Korea is trending number one in Twitter handles, we are being told that now insiders of William Samoe Ruto, Moses Kuria, Alice Nganga, and Kawanjiko are the masterminds of this contaminated sugar that was identified and located in Theka. Something that is creating panic across the Republic of Kenya is that the sugar that was spotted in Thika in certain go down when the DCI went for another investigation they found that the sugar was not available at go down they are asking where where about the sugar are Kenyans consuming this contaminated sugar and who are these people and that is why today as rumors are coming in, and you know, rumors sometimes might come to true. Because rumors sometimes is close to the truth. This is whatever Robert Alai is saying. Moses Korea is the CS. Moses Korea, Alice Nganga, and Kawanjiko ndiyo cartels za sugar. Jamani William Ruto, toa kucha tuone or you fear the gadi ya shagwa. That is what um, we are being told. Now, something that is creating this conversation is that after the office of Kebs imefagiliwa na William Samoe Ruto na watu wamefukuzwa kazi. Some police officers, DCI officers, wame sumamishwa kazi. They are being investigated. Some regional security personnel wame sumamishwa kazi. The reason behind it is because of the contaminated sugar that was imported all the way from other countries to a uh, country in the ports of Mombasa and the sugar was transported all the way from Mombasa to Thika and this sugar was stored in Thika Godowns and we are being told that this process went for a period of four years while this sugar was being stored, the question that we are asking, what are these repercussions that is going to be thrown to Moses Korea, Alice Nanga, and Kawanjiko? Because as the rumors are, we are being told that there is a possibility of Moses Korea, Alice Nanga, and Kawanjiko are the man those who are the sugar um, sugar cartels whom they should be asked and questioned by William Samoyeruto. Kenyans are asking the second question. 
if truly these people are going to be found guilty, is William Ruto going to act or is he fearing regarding Shagwa that in any case he's going to touch Moses Korea, Alice Nanga and Kawanjiko, now things are going to be so. And something that also is creating uh, conversation is if truly William Ruto is going to get his Moses Kuri, Ali Sunanga, and Kawanjiko, is he sure that he's going to clean up this mess and to ensure that these people who are involved, they're going to carry their own cross, not even associated that they're coming from Kikuyu tribe or they're coming from Mount Kenya region because the narrative that is going to come out is that they will start saying the narrative will be across the Republic of Kenya that Kikuyus are being targeted. Now, the same same Moses Kuria, who is a cabinet minister in this regime, was given a tender in his home county, Kiambu, to build a stadium with his company. I don't know, Moses Kuria with something LTD. He never came out building the stadium so what is the confirmation towards these individuals in the regime of william samaruto number one william ruto is going to pass a very difficult situation because at this moment as we speak william ruto is working with cartels and these cartels the same same regard came out saying that they were going to raid these cartels how will you raid these cartels at the same time you have cartels in your government. How will you deal with these cartels? The same same cartels are you yourself. I told you here, the Gadiga Shago cannot come out to tell us that he's going to deal with cartels who are exploiting the tea farmers, coffee farmers, milk farmers, and mira farmers in Mount Kenya region. At the same time, the Gadiga Shago himself is a cartel. That is why the Gadiga Shago is having 24 companies securing tender in this government busy securing securing tender and doing business the same same to moses Kuria is a cabinet minister he's having a company he's having several companies across the republic of kenya busy securing tenders and also doing this gushy kind of business across the republic of kenya the aim is <coughs> they want to make money if any case they are not going to go back to the offices, then they are going to have money. So this is the criteria of this kind of leadership. So ladies and gentlemen, when you look at the repercussions that William Ruto is going to pass through, is that the way I have said, number one, his, his government is full of cartels. Number two, his government is full of politicians. Those who are occupying these offices, different parastatals, different government agencies, bigger percentage of them are politicians. They are not technocrats. Technocrats are these people who most of the time, they usually not associate themselves with so much politics, but they do understand this kind of so-called economy. You know? So when you, for example, you give certain individuals who are who is technocrat, a certain parastatal or government agency that needs transformation or economic transformation or stabilization of the economy, <laughs> it might be easy or it will be possible for that person to deal with this kind of errors. But people who are dealing in this government or are in the, this kind of offices, bigger percentage and cabinet ministers are politicians number three and lastly William Ruto is going to pass a bigger percent a, big, uh, a very difficult situation why you cannot touch this person because he is our tribe even if he's wrong you cannot touch someone coming from Mombasa what a small no semi when a target what you to mutu yetu outa guza mutu a Mount Kenya what a sema unaguza mutu yetu so even Moses Kuria Alice Nanga and Kawanji Kowata Patikana Kwamba, they were the cartels towards this contaminated, contaminated sugar. Then, of course, they might not be cleaned up. 
watawacho hapo kwa sababu because they are coming from a certain huge tribe that contributed to the support of this government <coughs> now we cannot do something against them that is something that might happen you know there is something that might happen also you remember what happened with Moses Kuria when the issues of uh, shamba hii maneno ya shamba ilitokea pale machakos wakati Moses Kuria alienda pale akaambia watu machakos lazima Muhammad muachie hii Lovington sijui inaitwa Lovington company ina deal na ku produce cement kwamba lazima watoke waachie hiyo kampuni what did people say that people were targeting Moses Kuria and Moses Kuria is a kikuyu so this is a kind of William Ruto a, a kind of thing that William Ruto must cope up with but what of of course he is able to clean up these people because today William Ruto say that he will not tolerate such kind of things what happens drop your opinion at the comment section below otherwise thank you so much because of great support please consider subscribing liking commenting and sharing this video bye bye till you meet on another video